Hello everybody, this is Toys R Ross and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 2015 BotCon exclusive Burnout figure. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to have a detailed look at her in both of her modes to help you decide how you want to display her. We're going to have a look at the accessories that come with her to help you know if yours is complete and we can see loads of different ways we can use them. I'll show you the collector's card that came again with her. The other figure that also came as part of a two pack is the BotCon exclusive and of course we can do some comparisons and some similarity checks with other figures that have shared and used the same mold so lots to get through with you today and i'd like to remind anybody if they've not subscribed to this channel to hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out so here she is, the first official Transformers release of Burnout. This is character, of course, is based on an old Diaclone figure. But let's do some first impressions first and foremost. So we've got a lovely head sculpt there. Um, it's on a ball, so you've got full rotation, articulation up and down. I suppose one funny fact to point out is that there's lovely light piping at the back there, but then they've gone and painted her eyes, so it's absolutely pointless. The shoulders is not the greatest articulation to be honest they can pretty much bump into everything and there's a bit of movement it is a bit restricted it will go up and down you can see that there's bicep flexion on a ball and socket though uh, the wrists do not turn but of course you've got the ball and socket so the forearms will turn you've got a waist swivel it will go all the way around you've got knee bend and you've got loads of articulation in the ball and socket with the ankle tilt rock and bend you can also see she's got an abundance of arsenal and accessories which i'll show you in a bit more detail but as i say first impressions of this figure is great it is a redeco of the thrilling 30 skids mold so they've took the idw stance on skids um and yeah i think that she looks great so what we're going to do with the rest of the video we're going to have a detailed look at it now in alternate mode before coming back to do some detailed comparisons and weapon configurations back in robot okay here she is in her absolutely stunning beautiful alternate mode and i'm sure you'll agree she does look great quick apologies for no transformation process on this video it will be uploaded separately it's for a couple of reasons one to keep the length of this video down and two is not to spoil it for anybody who doesn't want it spoiling for themselves you can see you've got this lovely red stripe that works bringing up the back this piece of red here is actually her feet and you can see she does have a bit of visible hands syndrome but it's not really that bad because it's only literally tucked right underneath nice paint apps there for the tail lights you've got some translucent plastic for the windows yes you can see the guns there but i suppose you don't really know that they're guns it's not too bad it's actually like got a i suppose a violet or a bit of a purple tinge to it i think it, again it looks good the wheels look great with the silver on the inside for the um rather than just being completely matte black i suppose it couldn't with the fact that the paint job on it is black but i'm sure you'll agree it looks good a bit of paint apps on the front and on the windscreen wipers and yeah as i say i think she looks really nice it, the transformation process can be a bit tricky to be honest but it does slot together quite well right let's have a look at her accessories then we'll look at these in more detail in robot in a second as well but you can see what we've got with these is you can actually if you wanted to you can combine them for a start you could pop these here and then using either one of these five millimeter pegs depending on where you want to put it you can put one on the side like this so like a giant gun coming that way if that doesn't look too great you can start it on the other side back there so this is going to come up and over i suppose that looks a little bit better doesn't it it doesn't look too bad at all but of course because you've got the two five millimeter ports it would make perfect sense if you split them up like this you've got one on the one side and one on the other side and i'm sure you'll agree the abundance of weaponry and i suppose the different combinations and the way that you can use this which i'm going to show you again in more detail in robot mode just makes this a really interesting toy and indeed great fun to actually play with but I think I've covered everything I need to in this alternate mode. Let's go back to robot mode for the final time and do some comparisons and some weapon configurating as well. So then back for the final time in robot mode. And this is the main reason because I'm going to choose to be displaying her in this mode. So also you may notice she might look a little bit different. And that's because what I'm going to show you now briefly 
is just, you know, her arsenal, all, I suppose, the added artillery that she's got. The main transformation process, again, it will be in a separate video, but I'm going to show you these. So you can see straight away, we've got the twin guns underneath the forearms. These very simply just fold out. Nothing too difficult with that. Now, this bit is quite tricky and it's brilliantly hidden, to be honest. So behind this particular wheel arch is where the other guns and blasters are. So you hold onto the wheel and you slot this down very carefully and there you can see all your missile stroke rocket launches so we can do exactly the same on here you'll see where you've got the cut and it'll just slide out like that and then i suppose the last piece is if you open up this back part take this carefully off and you've just got to separate this ever so slightly from that red tab there you can see this will lift and flip the upper guns out as well so before we even have a look at her accessories she's got an abundance of arsenal and again looks really good with it so you've got a couple of choices again same when it was in car mode that you can put these two together like that combine them up and have a huge weapon like so and again she still looks great because she's got the twin blasters underneath and the ones coming over the shoulders with everything else but again of course you can separate these into two and just give her even more artillery so let's get this shoulder out a little bit further so completely overpowered just like skids was but she again i said it in the alternate mode i think this color scheme on her just really works now before we do some comparisons i want to give you guys the opportunity to read her collector's card i'm not going to read it all out i'm going to hold it right there and i'm going to say to you guys pause and then you can read that for yourself and there is her technical data as well so i mentioned again this is a 2015 botcon exclusive it was released as a two-pack along with lift ticket and the real interesting thing is that obviously we've had a just a recently generation select updated version of lift lift ticket and as i said at the beginning of the video this is the original version and that's because we're going to be getting a newer version of her as well still using the skids mold so they've still got brilliant brilliant homages to all of that so the original user of this mold was of course skids himself from the thrilling 30 and this is going to be really difficult let's just move his arm forward counterbalance him there he is and then of course the mold was slightly retooled and redecoed for crosscut I think it's cross -cut. I hope it is. I've just said it is. I may have got it wrong. Let me know in the comments if I have, but I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, there they are, all three together. I hope you enjoyed looking at them. Um, I hope it helped you with your decision if you wanted to get one for yourself. And again, I suppose I hope it educated you if you've not seen this particular version of her before. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.